drilling a four inch hole 40 inches deep uh, on uh, 4140 hot roll. Um, parts start out round, we turn them, uh, mill flats on it so we can uh, put them on vices and we know the whole thing flat except for the, round, the radius on the corners. Um, have these marks on a little bit of spade bit because uh, the chips start binding up a little bit when you get so deep. I'm about uh, 36 inches in right now. This is on a Warner Swayze turret lathe. Start the hole with this little stubby bit and then we turn the turret around and go with the long one. Have to start out about 9 thou feed per rev. Uh, I'm sorry, 12 thou feed per rev is when it's way back here on the ways it just that 9 thou it, uh, it starts chattering a lot. Then when I go in closer, I when I get a little bit in closer, I uh, start feeding at 12 and a half thousand per revolution. Going at 67 RPM right now, and this lathe has the turret is powered, so as you can see it's coming up to the line. I got to clear out the chips, so I will disengage the feed and bring the bit out. Let the chips clear, bring it back in, kind of jog it in. We don't want to ram this sucker home. Don't know what that would do. This actually turns out to be a uh, <clears throat> some sort of a pen. There's a uh, flat milled on the other end and a hole, like a three inch hole, bored into it. And then it's a locating pin of some kind. It's pretty huge. Uh, it's six inch square. There she goes. That's ninth out per rev. These take about an hour and a half or so to drill out. Um, I've got six of or five of them on the floor. This is the last one. So. Good amount of chips in there, good amount of coolant. Um, pretty powerful lathe. I just indicate off the radius uh, to start my hole. Indicate it in on the chuck. Gets a little messy, so I've got some, some plexiglass to stop the coolant from splashing all over the place. So, it's a pretty cool shop I work in here. I've just been here three months now. Uh, got a very large lathe. You can see it down there. It's about 50 foot long. Uh, another large one over there. We've got in the shop we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five manual lathes. Uh, one old crappy Roton Rapid 2. Uh, running uh, Siemens control and three Morisiki, uh, I think they're SL400 lathes and uh, other uh, mostly pallet lathes, or I'm sorry, pallet machines in here. Trying to clear the chips out again. Back in we go. A deep hole. I think these parts are about 50 inches long, I believe. I don't know if I'm supposed to be filming this, but I'm not giving away any secrets or anything. I've been machining for going on 27 years now, I think. And I like it. I was an accounting major in college and got really poor and desperate. And a friend of mine said, hey, you should try machining. I didn't know what it was. That was in the early 90s. And uh, just enjoyed it ever since. Worked in a lot of shops, seen a lot of cool stuff. Anyways, 
Thanks for watching, if you're watching, or if you even stayed with me this long. Later.